What is up, everybody? It is Craig, and I am back with movie number 34 of 2019. And like 33, we actually have a 2019 movie. In fact, we have a movie that was just officially released yesterday, March 31st on Netflix. If you watch our show, Hot Cheetos and Blood, if you don't, Hot Cheetos and Blood, check out the channel, it's a separate thing. Um, when we do doing horror news, we stump, I shared this, and I'm like, I'll be honest, I found it, surprised me. Um, Mercy Black was a movie that was uh, produced by Bloomhouse. Gives it the credibility in my mind. I like Bloomhouse. I know not everyone loves everything they do. I've enjoyed what they've done. Not that they're all winners, but there's nothing I've seen from them that's like, oh my God, never again. And if I'm forgetting something, well, let me live in blissful ignorance. Um, this movie, Mostly Black, literally just released yesterday. I watched it last night, probably around 10 o'clock. And I'm going to tell you, I thought about doing its own review separate of the series because I don't know how many people, you know, like, um, but I'm like, you know what, damn it, for my tens and tens of royal movie review followers, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it here. And I'm going to still keep to the same rules. It is a twisty, twisty son of a bitch of a movie. Um, they liken it to the Surrender Man, and not the movie, but the idea of the Surrender Man, the killing, and yada yada. Except this movie, I don't remember the last time I saw a movie that had, like, so many, like, you have a half twist and a full twist, and a so at some point I'm like, well, like, four of is a circle, right? Like, like can you, the twists out, can the twists counteract themselves? Is that, could that happen? And I'm still not sure, still processing it, and even right now as I'm talking to you, I'm a few minutes, I don't know what number I'm going to give this movie. I know it's a positive number, so we're not going to spoil it. Opens up, they show this the murder, murder maybe. Uh, they show two girls, you know, stabbing another one, cutting a finger off, yada yada. Uh, then they fast forward the mental institution. Fifteen years later, the girl gets out, and then all of a sudden she's convinced she was just schizophrenic. But then quickly she gets out, and her nephew starts seeing the titular character. And then bad things start happening. Um, there's no real big... I shouldn't say that, because there's no really famous people in this anymore. Um, the, the two most noteworthy would be, I guess, Janine Garofalo. At least I think that's Janine Garofalo. Um, and definitely Dwight from The Walking Dead, who his acting was pretty, pretty bad. Um, but you don't have to rewind his acting for long. That might be a semi-spoiler, but it's really not giving away anything. Um, but... Essentially, to crew this Mercy Black goes from, is she real? Is she not real? Was she real, but now she's not? Or was she not, and now she is? Wait, who killed who? Who's not dead? What's happening here? Where'd that go? It literally has more twists. And it's not, I don't want to say more twists. Like, it's not a masterful, it's not like a Tarantino-esque or Scorsese film where those twists, like, <gasps> but it's like in a, in a quick amount of time, like, every time you think you're good on where they're going, it's like, well, oh, my God. And one of the twists, to me, is actually really freaking cool. Like, something that, like, it's not that they lie to you, but they sort of, mm, just think it's done. Like, one of the twists is, like, like out of there. Like, oh, my, like, that, good kudos to you. And if you watch this and you comment down below, eh, I, I, you know, I'll tell you if that's a twist. I mean, I don't want to spoil it. I'm not going to spoil it here at all. Um, especially since it's Netflix. Who doesn't have Netflix nowadays? Broomhouse, Netflix, it is, like I said, it's a play on the Surrender Man mythos, you know, um, where we sort of create the creature from by talking about it. But that's the Surrender Man stuff. Mercy Black is its own sort of separate thing, and you'll see it's definitely its own separate thing. I will tell you, if you didn't like Surrender Man movies, good. Good. That's a good call, not liking Surrender Man movies. Um, but don't let the fact that they make that connection to this you know, it would be like someone ran, ma making a thrasher and just maiming another thrasher movie. So it's sort of it's sort of that. Um, mostly black Netflix. I, I purposely didn't want to spoil a lot, so I was dancing around it. Um, if you want something that does generally have a creepy atmosphere to it at times, um, watch it. It's fun. Again, Netflix, you can't go wrong. Um, my rating for this, and as of this moment, we're only three in, so I don't know if it's going to last with all the cool stuff coming out. Um, is my favorite of the 2019 releases I've seen. And I will give this a solid 7. 7. Peace.